Hi everyone. So I did a little purchase from Colors to Carol. And she threw a little uh, little uh, holographic sticker in there. I've been waiting to open this up for days so I could, you know, bring you guys along. It was kind of nice. I'm pretty sure there's a little Valentine polish in here. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. I just did that off camera. So um, I bought Candy Coated. She did this topper <laughs> called Teeny Screen for Christmas, and I absolutely loved it. <sighs> hoarder in me. <laughs> this is my third bottle. I I just I love it so much. I can't imagine that I would never love it again. So I got a little bit. I wanted to back up and a back up, back up. But anyways, I didn't know if I would love this one or I would have bought two of this one. So I think I'm might going to be regretting that one, that decision, because this is gorgeous. So let's take a look at uh, my nail art. I'll, I'll use both of these. I'll show you my Christmas um, nails since I didn't get to show you at Christmas time, but also I'll show you this one and this one since they're still both available. I'm going to do a quick swatch of those two toppers and I'm going to put them over Hollow Taco's featured guest. Here is one coat of Teeny Screen over Featured Guest. I think it goes really well over this. I tried it over a couple of other colors like white and silver and it kind of got lost. It was like a dark, maybe like a pewter color. I don't know. It just didn't, I didn't like it as much as I did over Featured Guest. I just like one kind of light coat. This one is candy coated and it also looks really great over this to make some accent nails. That's all I was going to use this for, but this is so cool. I like this color. The base and top coat I use are by Maxis. To smooth out the reflective glitter, I'll be using Glitter's Best Friend by Vibrant Vinyls. And you can get this scented or unscented. My uh, scent here is my favorite scent, which is Ruby Red Grapefruit. Today I'll be showing you candy coated on my nails. I love this topper. It is a baby blue and silver reflective glitter in a clear base with lavender, red, fuchsia, and pink metallic shards. As the base color underneath the topper, I'm going to use Hollow, Tal Hollow Taco's Featured Guest, which is supposed to be like a white linear hollow, but it does have kind of a bluish grayish soft tint to it because I guess there is like no true white um, linear hollows. And I thought magenta jelly would would look just perfect. Um, like the accent nails will be the glitter topper and then the other nails will be magenta jelly. And I'm going to use Hello Taco's Reflective Taco. I like this one. This one is just a light scattering of reflective glitter in a clear base 
so you're not getting a whole concentrated ton on your nails so in one to two coats one coat is just giving you a little starly kind of you know glittery reflectiveness and two coats is still very nice it's not too heavy I do have another topper I don't like so much because it's mostly like you're just wearing silver um reflective glitters over the top of your polish and to me that one has too much reflective glitters I love this one this one's my favorite first I'm going to put on my Maxis base coat and that's to protect my nails against any staining. But actually, it's got some, um, I don't know, it really makes them look healthy and actually makes them pretty strong. So this is Featured Guest, and it's going to take a couple of coats. You know, this actually, I should replace this brush with a wide one. When... I don't know, when you have a too small and skinny of a brush and you have to use too many brush strokes to get it on there, then you end up with like bald spots. And this is a polish that you can end up with bald spots. Anyways, I thought we would just uh, chat a bit while I'm doing my nails here. I think for my channel, I would like to do, you know, I do the Tuesday stamping. <laughs> supposed to be doing the Tuesday stamping but anyway um I thought I'd also just like to do some polish combinations or just you know just showcase some polishes every week for those of you that don't really want to do nail art and then I think I'd like to do something besides stamping for nail art like um I don't know like um like with dotting tools or little brushes or something this one is Magenta Jelly. This one might be a one coater. Because this one, um, this one goes on pretty good and it's pretty pigmented. Because, wait. No, I'm not doing anything over the top of this one. So this one I'm going to do two coats of. Do two coats of both of those. If I was putting a topper on it, I might only just do one coat, but I'm not putting a topper over it. So now I'm just going to put on a second coat of Featured Guest. And a second coat of Magenta Jelly. Alright, so I'm putting the candy coated top coat over Featured Guest. And I do think that those purpley shards in there match the magenta jelly really well. Now this doesn't have to be, this is a topper that you could use all year round, not just at valentine's day so i like that i mean you can use like a pink one all year too but this one has magenta and red in it but i don't think it looks particularly seasonally just for valentine's day so this would be a good one for all year round well probably not at christmas i decided to do a couple of coats of this reflective taco over the magenta jelly I you know I like I like the reflective maybe I only need one I don't know it's kind of sparse so I think I'm gonna try two but make too much but I think I would like it to be reflective as well and I don't have I, actually I might have a, 
a matching one. I've got some purples by Colors to Carol as well. But oh well, you know I'm not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna use them right now because I'm just gonna go with this. But I wonder if some of my purples might not match or might match this magenta jelly. I'll have to look. So I did find that I do own a Colors to Carol um, Reflective Glitter Luminosa. And this one is a grape jelly base with purple reflective glitters. And I think it matches perfectly magenta jelly. So I decided to put this on because this will be like more reflective glitters than um, the topper. I do, I do like that topper though. But these I think have purple reflective glitter in it. And it matches that base, that base color so perfectly. Right now I'm just kind of winging this whole thing. So I decided I did want to put some of the silver reflective glitter over the top of the other one so that it'll have silver and purple reflective glitter because the other one has some silver reflective glitter. I just thought it would look cool. I don't know. I hope it does because I'm not redoing this manicure. Um, I'm sure it'll look fine. I'm sure it'll look fine. So since um, reflective glitters are quite textured, I'm going to use a glitter smoothing top coat. And the glitter smoothing top coat, you also need a regular top coat. This is just to smooth out the glitter. And then, um, you know, it's recommended that you use another top coat over it because this really isn't a, it's just to smooth out glitter. <laughs> That's all it's made for. Whoops, a little bit too much. So I'm just uh, now putting on Finito top coat. Seal everything in. This is a great long lasting top coat. I've used it for years. And I, you know, think my, <laughs> I think I'm over trying to find a good top coat because this is it. I know I'm not going with any traditional um, Valentine colors this year. I don't know what happened because like pink is my favorite. But now that I'm looking at this, you know, first when I was looking at it, the swatch that I did of it, I thought there, you know, that it really, it really matched the uh, magenta jelly, which it does. But now I'm seeing the other, you know, the other, the pink in there as well. So I could have gone with like the hot pink, hot wire pink from Hollow Taco to match with this. And I could have actually also gone with red, but I just, I don't know. I just did something off the, <laughs> I don't know, just did something off the wall. Um, but I think maybe next week when I do my, um, you know, my plain, polish video I think maybe I will try just removing the purple and then adding the hot wire pink and we can check that out and see what that looks like so I think this came out pretty good here's uh, the low light look I think that reflective taco just hit the spot with adding a little bit of silver to the purple to kind of match the silver in the candy coated topper. Oh, you look, you can see some of the blue reflective glitter in the candy coated one. On my pointer finger, I think it comes up. You can see it a lot better. So, loving that. I'm 
I'm going to give you a little bonus um, kind of nail design look. And this is a Christmassy one because I didn't get to show you it at Christmas, but I really love it. And I figured if you're going to pick up anything from Colours to Carol, might as well make a list. <laughs> and even though you won't probably wear this until Christmas, it's still a cute idea. Um, and I would, everything is available still right now, so I wouldn't wait too long. This one is called Teeny Screen, and it has red and green shards, clear base, silver, reflect, uh, silver reflective glitter, and it is a topper, and I love it. It has now taken its place as my favorite topper for Christmas. I'm also going to use red licorice, green taffy, and under the topper, I'm going to use featured guest. And I love using these reflective glitters, these reflective polishes as um, toppers over a similar color. That, that way it lasts longer and these can get really, really thick if you need two to three coats to cover up your nails. So now this one is called XOXO, which was Valentine's Day of last year. It is available. It's the perfect Valentine Christmas red. And this is described as a bright red base with reflective glitters. This was my first ever reflective polish, and I got it because nobody had done red yet at that point that I got this. So it was very, very unique. And then on top of Green Taffy, I am using... This one, which is Foxfire. And Foxfire is a green base with green reflective glitter. Now this is going to be great for Christmas as well as coming up St. Patrick's Day. So uh, keep a lookout. I'm going to do some St. Patrick's Day nails and I'm going to use this. And I just ruined the surprise. But, you know, I didn't even think about it until when I was doing this. And I'm like, ooh, I'm super excited. This is the perfect green. I have to try to figure out something cool to do with it. So I have, these are all hollow taco polishes I have on my hands. I actually, or my nails, I actually like the reflective polish over a light a lake polish underneath. Um, I think it's not as thick. I don't know. I just, I like it better that way. Anyways, so this is uh, what I've come up with. And these are some really good matches to the um, Colors to Carol polishes. So um, we have on this finger is green taffy. And I have one coat of green taffy and one coat of red licorice. Normally, if I was just wearing red licorice or green taffy on their own, I would wear two coats. But since I'm putting a coat of this reflective um, polish over it, I don't think I really need it. So the reflective polish is in a green, um, a green base and reflective, I think it's green polish, uh, reflective green glitter in here. So yeah, that looks really good. Um, and then I do have two coats of the featured guest because that one is it's pretty light on its own. Um, it doesn't really cover good in one coat at all. So I have two coats of that on. Now, normally when I do, I'm so, I'm so, so boring at Christmas. At Christmas, normally I just do red, green, red, green nails alternating. Seriously, that's what I've done for years. But um, this year, I've really been enjoying reflective glitter. And uh, I thought you know, these would make some really good, fun nails. And I especially love this one. This is going to be like my new favorite Christmas polish right here. 
I think it just looks, I've tried it over white and you can kind of see like it's, like it's on top of white polish at the edge, you know, around the edges. But this base color looks amazing with um, Teeny Screen. Oh my gosh, I'm just so in love with Teeny Screen. I want like Teeny Screen in every color metallic flake there is. Like blues and purple would be so cool. Anyways, I, so I think it looks, it's a really great base color. And I did try some other colors with it, like a silver. I didn't like it. <laughs> this one was perfect. Reflective glitter is like super, I don't know, sandy like. So I'm going to put um, Glitter's Best Friend over the top, and that will help um, smooth it out. Now with these glitter smoothing top coats, you still need a regular top coat over the top. These are just meant to smooth out the glitter so that when you put your regular top coat on, you get a nice, you know, glassy, smooth finish. So don't skip that step. I like that vibrant vinyl um, glitter's best friend. It's pretty cool. Um, glitter smoother. It's not too expensive either. And I'm just topping everything off with my Finito Top Coat by Maxis. I do like, I really like my Maxis products. They're really nice. Okay, so here's the finished Christmas nails. Uh, the thumb I did in red, but my I just broke my thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> so it won't be in any pictures anytime soon. Um, I had to go down and get in some of my boxes that I had already packed away. And I guess when I broke, when I got back upstairs, my thumbnail was gone. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, and uh, let's just take a quick look at it in a low light. Such a fun look in a low light. The reflective glitters are awesome. I love, love, love a reflective glitter. It's, that's not my favorite now. <laughs> This was a super fun video for me to do. I am really excited about actually doing some more videos like this. And I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you enjoy this type of video. Um, I'm still probably going to do it anyway. Because <laughs> um, I enjoyed it. But um, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And bye for now.